Hello everyone, and welcome to update 1.042 for Space Engineers. Today we are releasing modding integration. This will allow you to add, share, and use mods that you create. Now you can create new blocks for the game that players have always wanted to see. More info on how to mod specific parts of the game will be mentioned later on in the video. Now let's talk about how to use mods. Downloading a mod. Public mods are stored on the Steam Workshop. You can download them the same way you would download any other workshop file. To download a mod from the game, click New World, Custom World, Mods, and then browse the workshop. Check the mod type, and then you can browse the mods that are on the workshop that other players have uploaded. Click any mod that you like, and then click the subscribe button. Now close the Steam browser and click the refresh button in Space Engineers. This will allow you to see all the mods that you have subscribed to. You can also download mods from the Steam Workshop through any browser by logging onto your Steam and browsing the workshop and subscribing from there. Starting a world with mods. To start a new world with mods, open the custom world option and click the mods button. On the left hand side of your screen, you will see the mod section. This lets you see all the mods that are currently on your computer or that you have subscribed to through the Steam Workshop. Make sure that you are only selecting mods with the Steam icon, as mods with the folder icon are not public and could cause problems. If you hover over a mod, mod info will show up in a text box. To activate a mod in your world, double click the mod or select and press the right arrow button. Now the mod is moved from the available to the active mod section of this screen. Some mod types, for example skyboxes, cannot have a similar mod type active at the same time. In these cases, if two or more of these mod types are moved into the active section of the mod screen, the mod closest to the top of the page will have priority, the rest will remain unloaded. To remove a mod from the active mods, double click it, or select and click the left arrow button in the middle of the screen. When you are done selecting mods, click OK and proceed to make the world as you normally would. The mods that you selected in the mod screen should now be enabled. Adding mods to an existing world and editing mods. To add mods to an existing world or to edit the active mods, click Load World, Select a World, Edit Settings, Mods. You are now presented with the same mod screen and you can add and remove any mod you want. Joining a world with mods. When you join a world that is using a mod, the game will automatically download the used mod from the Steam Workshop. You don't have to check anything by yourself. First the game will download the world and then download the mods all visible on your screen whilst loading up the server. If downloading of any of the mods takes too long, you can cancel it and visit another server. Every time a server owner makes changes to the mods, your client will automatically remove or add any mods that have been changed in the world. Adding mods to dedicated servers works in a much different way to adding them to your client. To add a mod to your server, open the dedicated Space Engineers client, select the instance and click Server Configuration. Now go to the Steam Workshop and find the mod that you want to use and open the page in your browser. Copy the number in the link. If you don't see the link, enable it in the Steam interface settings. Open the client for dedicated server and paste the number into the mods column. If you want to add more mods, copy their numbers into this column too, but make sure that each mod has its own line in this column. When you restart the world, all mods that you have put in this column will be loaded into the world. People that join the server will download and activate these mods automatically. To remove a mod from the server, delete its number from the mod column and then restart the world. For more information on how to make mods for Space Engineers and how to upload them to the workshop, visit the mod Steam guide mentioned in the description. This guide includes everything you need to know about starting to make mods for Space Engineers. We will keep adding guides for specific mod types since the amount of modding possibilities is huge. Steam Mod Workshop also includes example mods that will help you learn faster using specific examples. The list of test mods is in the official mod guide. When you download a mod, to open it for study, you will have to make a copy of it and rename it to a zip file. Then unzip this file and you will get a folder containing the parts of the mod. We will add more example mods in the future, so that you can use the modding possibilities to their max. Feel free to share your experience with mods or seek help on our official mod forum or mod forums created by our fans. Both forums are mentioned in the video description. Debug screen. To make modding more effective and easier, we've added a new debug screen in-game. 
F11 to enable debug draw. This screen allows you to check dummies, collision models and other game asset components, including a texture reload. This screen also includes an error log that informs you about possible errors that may appear when the mod is loaded or not loaded correctly. In case of a game crash, check the game log. Info about mods that could have caused the crash will be noted here. Local and Workshop Mod Types When you open the mod screen, you can see mods with a folder or a Steam icon. The mod with the folder icon is stored on your hard drive only. The mod with the Steam icon is downloaded from the workshop. Mods with the file icon and stored only on your hard drive should not be added to multiplayer games, as people will not be able to download the mods from your hard drive. Only mods uploaded to the workshop should be uploaded to multiplayer servers. New features. Gesture animations. Along with the mod support, we have also included a few more features, like the ability to add gesture animations. These animations allow the player to convey thoughts and feelings through the game through hand movements and body movements. Open the G screen and drag an animation to the toolbar the same way you would do for placing a block. You can activate the animation by pressing the specific toolbar number. Gesture animations can also be easily modded. For more information about modding gesture animations, see the official mod guide. Control panel. The control panel can now be built as a separate block. You can place the control panels wherever you need them, allowing easy access to a chip's terminal. Gyro override. New settings for gyroscopes allow you to build orbiting satellites. These things can be used as base defences or area scanners. Orbiting is achieved by setting up the yaw, pitch or roll in combination with thruster override and thruster dampeners. That's all for this update. We hope you will be able to use these tools to create a variety of different mods for other players to enjoy. Thank you for watching.